guys need me to help? Bam! That's what I'm talking about. Coach Benway the Dragon Slayer coming to you from the very magnificent, incredible Woodford Reserve Distillery. We are here on site to do this tasting. Look at these amazing bottles right now. I have a huge audience behind me there. I've got people that are more in the know than me, but that's going to be later. I've got somebody knitting on the right side of the screen. There's so many distractions, but as soon as we start getting slightly uh, inebriated, uh, then none of that's going to matter. We're just going to forget about it. Anyway, after a 30-hour journey, I'm here in person to join the two best, most favorite, audience approved, stamped, and uh, basically all kinds of sweet loving Doctor of Destruction, Raymond White, get in here. Hey, hey. hey. good, and Dr. Kenneth P. F. <laughs> oh. I thought you hit me out on the light or something. <laughs> Dr. Kenneth F. P. Z. Holmes. Come on in here, man. Yeah. Hey. Guys, before you even start, Yes. I just want to say I'm absolutely loving these shirts. And um, W O <laughs> R S. <laughs> oh, I, ugh, I just got a oh, nipple on that one. Oh, my okay, Lord. anyway, look at this Don't amazing this here. First of all, Woodford Reserve Bourbon Whiskey. Do you see this? It's all laid out for us here. And if we don't know what we're talking about, which quite frankly, I don't think we do most of the time, at least I don't, we've got tasting notes. If I had young eyes, I'd be able to read it. I can't even read this even if I wanted to. <laughs> okay, here we go. Uh, Very first one, this bottle right here. Gentlemen, gotta get a cheers on this. Oh, absolutely. Hey. Well, and you know, it's so great because we don't have any, uh, we don't have to like rinse our own glasses. Like usual, yeah. when we usually slum it in the dragon's lair. So what are we gonna do with getting rain all wet? Ooh, well, guess uh, what? There's a whole thing of water no, 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 no. That we can pour <laughs> on or in his pants. Oh, <laughs> lovely. All right. It's a nice, nice nose. Good standard. I taste a little bit of. Um, let's see, what do I taste? <laughs> Uh, I'm actually so. nervous. I'm never nervous on video, but I'm a little bit nervous because this is the basic everyday perfection. Yeah, absolutely. Ooh, listen to that. Somebody quote upon that. Put it in the newsletter. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. This is very light. We have a fourth co-host today. If I can get a hey, Amen. Hey, hey, Cheryl, can I get in? I mean, we're getting an amen for this right here. Amazing. Yes, Caitlin, please pan this way. We actually have a camera crew. It's amazing. Cheers. This is Caitlin. She's going to walk us through what's really going to happen. Oh, Denise, leave it on her so that you can talk. <laughs> so uh, what you're tasting first is our Woodford Reserve Distiller Select Bourbon. Uh, this is going to be a 72% corn, 18% rye, and 10% malted barley uh, mash bill. And a lot of the flavors that I usually get on this are going to be a lot of nutty flavors. You get a lot of that red apple in the aftertaste. On the palate, you're getting some of the cinnamon, vanilla. This is a really good bourbon for everybody because all of these different flavor categories are represented in this bourbon. So it's really good for everyone to enjoy. It is very good. Cheers to so, that, Caitlin. Cheers. Yes. Mm. Yeah, definitely fruity. A little definitely fruity. Mm. Mm. Guys, when I taste this, I taste some nuts. Yep. Uh, I taste a little bit of apple. I taste some uh, cinnamon. Oh, wait, isn't that what Caitlin just said right there? I'm going to just pair it her. Script notes. Is that cinnamon? Yes. Cheater. Cheater. Okay. Pumpkin eater. Yeah, All that right. is a, a very solid bourbon. Yeah, absolutely. Next mm -hmm. one. Yes. i got to tell you, I'm super into rye after the right. Boss Hogs came out. This is Woodford Reserve rye. Have you ever had this? No. Have you ever had this? I don't think so. Okay. Yes. Let's check it out. Let's see if we can hit one of the tasting notes on the back, guys. That's going to be the challenge right oh, now. Here we are. Over. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. No, no, yeah, I'm not, no, I couldn't cheating. see it anyway, man. I couldn't see it anyway. Mm. The rye, of course, gives it a little bit more spice. Yes. Yeah. And the percentage of rye in normal bourbons also will bring out a little bit of uh, spice. And so yeah, it's like, going to be a little nutmeg to me. But... Mm -hmm. Oh, I taste, yeah. I taste clove. Well, right yeah, off the bat. Right, blue clove. Oh, yes. Yeah. Clove, and what else? Allspice. <laughs> Allspice? All spice. All spice. Okay. No, it's very good. Mm -hmm. Wow. The finish is just a very mellow. Oh, my. It's just gross. 
it's like I said it before. It's like it's like riding the waves in San Onofre on a longboard in Orange County, where you just kind of just keep riding. There's no stress, right? There's no mm -hmm. stress. Right? There's no nothing. It's just hmm. Um, Caitlin, now you give us please <laughs> what we're really supposed to be tasting. Well, you know, it kind of just depends on your palate, so I can't really tell you what you're going to taste, but personally what I taste uh, whenever I first go into this is kind of like a green tea herbal spice with some honey, some lemon citrus, and I get mint right off the bat too. So with this one, it's going to be a 53% rye. So with most ryes, you get a lot of high rye content, but since this one has a lower rye percentage, you get 33% corn with that as well, and it adds a little bit of that sweetness to this mm -hmm. rye. So this rye is a good entry rye for people who don't typically mm. like rye, uh, and it's also a pre-prohibition style rye too, with that lower rye content. Wow, that's very good. Uh, we, oh. need have, we need to have we need to have Caitlin bounce in on zooms for all of our so you know, three <laughs> idiots over here. We have somebody that's actually no, just two in idiots. The room. Oh man, <laughs> yeah, I, I totally forgot what she said because I was going to try to parrot it again. <laughs> <laughs> no, this is very good. Yes, excellent. Hmm. Makes a great Manhattan too. Did our cameraman get a, a sample? Okay, <laughs> next one, Woodford Reserve. <laughs> oh, I don't care if you're done. Not, not, can. <laughs> malt. I'm enjoying. Woodford Reserve yes. Malt Whiskey. Now, as I lean over here, Raymond, yeah. can you touch, see, touch, see this bottle right here? Mm -hmm. Oh, sorry. <laughs> I just, I was just saying that. It was the shirt that was causing me to want to bite your left nipple. Anyway, stay focused, guys. Uh, okay, I'm trying to. I'm wondering if I've had this either. These are, these are the malt ones. whiskey. Malt. Wait, did you pour some on? Yep. Where? I drank all my water. Yeah. I get abused every time. Of course. <laughs> oh. oh. Sorry, Ray. <laughs> I'm sorry. That was one that I thought that was in there. That actually splattered, man. Oh. Okay, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. so are you guys drinking this or I'm just clowning around You're just here? having fun. A malt. Mm. Ooh, that would go well with a cigar. <laughs> Wait, did we get one of the tasting notes on the last one, Caitlin, or did we not hit one of those? Yeah, it's yeah, whatever you get. Yeah. 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 Whatever, no whatever you get. The there's, right. there's still a lot of spice in there. Yeah. Um, it's just, to me personally, it's more of an herbal spice. Um, but there's still a lot of spice in there. You got the clove, you got the cinnamon, you got black pepper. Mm -hmm. um, so all of those. Green tea and mint. That was good. Yeah. It's a little more intense, I think. This is. Just, just yeah, is it? I feel like it's a minute. I had the cinnamon right off the bat and went into. Ah, what do you know? Oh, this tastes like this tastes like butterscotch and caramel and a little bit yeah. of coffee. It's definitely a sweet. Yeah, it's like, it. but I, I feel like it's very smooth. Oh, I don't oh, taste yeah. any burn on the backside. It's got a nice sweetness to it. Ooh. No Kentucky Hut. No, no, Kentucky Hot. No, that's what they so? call it, Kentucky. No. Okay. That's <laughs> back. <laughs> okay. What are we supposed to taste? The candle on back. Okay. Kaylin, what are we supposed to taste on this one? Oh, so <laughs> <laughs> Okay. Kaylin, give us some wisdom here. Oh. Uh, so, so for our malt whiskey, um, this is going to be a 51% malt. So it is the legal requirement for a malt whiskey to be 51% here in the States. So malt whiskey here is different from overseas. Mm -hmm. Uh, this one for me, tasting wise, I usually get kind of like an Almond Joy candy bar. Mm. So you get a lot of that chocolate, you get some of that butterscotch, vanilla. I always get a lot of coconut uh, and a little bit of tropical fruit hints in the background too. So it's nice chocolatey Whopper, Snickers, Almond Joy, any kind of candy bar you enjoy is what it reminds you of. So the baby boy was way off with the coffee, guys. Is the malt? Toasted? No, there's still a little coffee in there too. Yeah. Is the malt toasted? All of our barrels are toasted. Yeah, all of our yeah. barrels are toasted and then charred. Oh, even the, the malt, the green itself. Uh, it's malt, malt of barley, yeah. So it's went through the germination phase and they stopped that germination phase. So that's what malt of barley is. Okay. So yeah, gotcha. they've toasted a little bit and then dropped it out. Okay. Now back in, uh, when I was at the University of Tennessee, if Tennessee would lose a football game, we go to the- God forbid. We go to the 7-Eleven and uh, we would go get uh, Cobra and uh, Old English 800 and we get all this malt liquor. So we get all hopped up and all later we get me pissed as hell and I just want to go out and just whip somebody's ass. But the reason why I'm saying that is, Caitlin, is that the same type of malt that they put in those nasty malt beverages like the malt beer and that kind of stuff? I don't think so, but I don't want to, I don't know. If I drink a little bit more, if I drink a little bit more, we'll see if I want to. Yeah, we'll go check out the malt. Oh, great. <laughs> Love it. Actually, I'm going to take another sip of that one, man. I really yeah, like that. That was delicious. They're all good. I, I haven't had one I didn't like yet. Yep. Okay, Woodford Reserve Wheat Whiskey, which is different. We love the wheated. 
Yes. Of everybody loves the weeder. We're just going to set that as a little hat. Can I look at Grace and Pat? Oh, there you go. <laughs> Can I give a little caveat before you all get into yes. this? Yes, yes please. Yes. So, uh, this is going to be a wheat whiskey. So, a lot of people will get confused with uh, weeded bourbons versus wheat whiskeys. So, this is not a weeded bourbon. So, this is a four grain recipe uh, with wheat being added to the traditional corn, rye, and malt, uh, and then wheat being the dominant grain. So it's a wheat whiskey, not a weeded bourbon. Mm. Weeded bourbon, you would replace the wheat, the rye with the wheat. Um, so we just added in the wheat and made it a wheat so whiskey. So what percentage corn is in this one? Uh, 20%. So, so see, it's that's 52. Why it's not a bourbon. Yeah. yeah, so it's 52% wheat, 20% corn, 20% malted barley, and then 8% rye. Gotcha. Yeah. Very good. Cool. So cool. Very good. So, very good. So smart. What? Raymond, would you like for me to invite him just one little No, bit? I do not. I don't want to. Nope. There it is. Okay. This bourbon tasting is about tasting great bourbon and my shenanigans towards you guys. You see the braid of power? Yeah, you got a fish hook in it. It's a, it's a feather, man. Oh, is that what it is? Yes, a fish hook. Look if I going fish it right now. I thought you lost one of your toenails. Oh my goodness. Uh, that was mmm. That is good. This is, actually, a real, this is actually one of my favorites. It's a yeah. real nice honey. I see why. That on the end, there is no heat on the end, but just smooth, silky honey. Mm. Mm. You taste that on the finish, Kenneth? Honey? Yeah. Barely. Mm. Yeah, I like that. That's delicious. Yeah. You don't taste honey on the finish? It just like sits there, just like I just took up that. Uh, yeah, you know, it's got a little honey. I know, it's like I just got the uh, honeycomb. Yeah. I'm sitting there just letting it sit on my tongue. Ooh, that's with the bees and everything. Yeah, I my first, the first taste, I was, I thought uh, this is mm. going to be my least favorite out of these because mm -hmm. I love it complex, and so it came yeah. out very smooth and subtle, and then yes. a beautiful arc, and then just maybe because honey, 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 honey. What? Yeah, it's just nice because it's not a bourbon, truly a bourbon. It's a whiskey. It's exactly but right. It's I'm not leaning towards you. Yeah. <laughs> Lord Almighty, mm -hmm. that is mm. awesome. Mm. It's good. It is very good. The finish on that. I, I absolutely love that finish. I think Weller's really doesn't have a bad product there. It's just all awesome. Woodford? Woodford? Yep. Woodford. <laughs> Not a bit. You oh. said Weller. Oh, I heard you mean Raider from us. Ah, I'm the actual cast. W-W. I got it right there. Woodford. Woodford. So you read right here? Ray, uh, Ken. No. Uh, no, I'm just saying. Okay. <laughs> Ken. No. We're not doing it. So Back off. Part, okay, so the last one that we're going to do. I'm still enjoying it. Yeah, okay, so Ken. Uh, the last one we're going to do. On the one, two, and three on the Woodford Reserve. Mm. <laughs> okay, the one that won the best, best bourbon. Yep, 18 bourbons that we tried, and the number one bourbon out of all of those under 50, hands down, unanimous. Bam, bam. Can you say it, Raymond? Bam. If I can get a witness for this right here, Raymond. Witness. Okay, just relax. Uh, I'm gonna see if I can. Oh, this under no, do not. <laughs> okay, the famous double oat. Which Let's check it out. Caitlin, as we're tasting we, this, we taste yeah. it down many <laughs> times and whittle it down many times, whittle it down to that one video of the five best. Yep. You know. Yep. Absolutely. It was delicious. And so, for this one, you get a lot more of those sweet aromatic notes. So, the first thing I think of is when I get up for breakfast in the morning and have pancakes, I just want to pour this on my pancakes because it's just maple syrup. Mm -hmm. And you get that chocolate, you get the caramel and vanilla, but then you also get a little bit of hidden spice back there too that isn't always so prominent in it. A lot of that wood spice because the second barrel that this is going into is also a new charred oak barrel that's heavily toasted and lightly charred. So you're pulling out a lot more of those wood sugars, which gives you a lot more of those sweet aromatic notes that you find in this double oak. So that makes it really enjoyable, and in my opinion, way too easy to drink. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. there you go. Yeah, it's it's a really nice one. So I got That's aged cool. in the new oak barrel, and then taken out and put it in another oh. new oak barrel. Yes. That's why it's the double oak. Yes. So How we aged it. Go? Yeah. So we aged it in the first barrel for five to seven years. And instead of going into the bottle, it would just go into that second barrel for up to a year. Oh yeah. man. The first barrel is a light toast, heavy char, and then the second barrel is a heavy toast, light char. Mm. Okay. Now you can drink your bourbon any way you want to at home. If you're a lame-o and you want to uh, put water in it, uh, mm -hmm. if you're a lame-ass and put it on a rock because you think that sounds cool, but what Keanu Reeves did in, uh, what was the name of that movie that he was in with Blanche? Oh, 
John Wick. Thank you, John Wick. Anyway, I don't think any of these, I think you ruin any of these if you put water in the horizon in any of these, for sure. Oh, uh, price, they don't need it. Any price of these point don't on these? Can I ask you that? Yeah, that so good? they retail for about $32. This one? Uh, all of them do. The double oak is a little bit more of a premium price. Okay. Uh, usually it would retail in the 50s, probably. This yeah. one, yeah. Yeah, it just yeah. depends on the market. Yeah. Sure. Well, I waited for it to be on special, and about so there's 45, so that yeah. I can get this one. That's a good price for it. Yeah, 45 yeah. is good. Yeah. And it is delicious. Gentlemen, Absolutely. what about? I want to know what uh, what your favorites are. Let's rank them really Ooh, quick. Rank them? Mm -hmm. oh, oh, that's hard, man. I, Let's go. Best. To, we'll go the best to, to good, great, better, whatever. I don't even know what I'm saying. Best uh, to barely not best. Best to, okay. Yeah, exactly. So, <laughs> I can't see what you're uh, Is this the malt? Yeah, the malt's got that nice sweetness to yeah, it. Also. Is, that, is yeah. this the malt right here? Yeah, the blue is the malt. Let's see here. So, we got best. That's you my order right there, guys. Bless you, Not COVID. Nope. <laughs> this is my order right here. Like that. Where's the weeded uh, whiskey? Uh, the weeded one is this one. Oh yeah? No, yeah. that's the malt. The that's we, did, we did it down oh, here. Oh, wait a minute. Oh yeah, this was the smooth one. Oh wow, look at this. I'm all messed up. Yes, you are. Yeah, the bottles all look the same. <laughs> As you always have been. <laughs> and, let's see here. I got my little thing. And it's, they're all enjoyable. It just really depends on the mood that you're in. Exactly. Because if I want something really Very sweet, sure. I might pull for that double oaked. If I want Privacy, something just a little more casual and easy, the bourbon is very approachable and easy to go for. Mm. Uh, I love, my recommendation is always the Manhattan with the rye. The, our rye makes a fantastic Manhattan. It really does. Mm. How about an old fashioned? Okay, guys, I'm wrapping this up. I use our bourbon seconds. for the old fashioned. The bourbon? Yeah. Okay. Okay. Raymond, which one do you like the best? Ooh, double oak. Oh, yeah, well, good. double oak, and I really like the uh, weeded uh, whiskey. Okay, maybe whiskey. Yeah, yeah. That's yeah. One right here. Yeah. that was the honey finish that I like. That's one of my favorites, too. Though. Yeah, it's yeah. pretty, it's tied with double oak. Yeah. That's really different. Caitlin, which one of these is this your favorite? Gold. Double oak and wheat are kind of tied, wheat, 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 but I tend great. to reach for the wheat a little bit more, actually. Oh, okay. And that's so the most recently right. released one. We released that in 2019. Um, so a lot of people haven't had it yet, but if you see it in your market, you should definitely yeah, get a bottle of it because it's really enjoyable. Yeah. If you ever get a chance to come out to Kentucky and visit these places, it's amazing. We've been here almost a week and it's been fantastic. Oh yeah. The people are so warm and friendly. It's been Everywhere. a great experience. Everywhere. And here at uh, you know, Woodford's, it's been a wonderful experience. Yep, look up Caitlin. Yes. <laughs> she didn't get to it, boys. It was just for us. Oh, I know. You won't ever get Caitlin. Never mind. Come here. Let me just take that. Yeah. I'm it's all theirs. Sorry. Good. Okay. Oh. Awesome. So, gentlemen, can we get Bam, one, three. Yep, I suppose we could. Can we? Can we? Yes. One, two, three. Bam! Bam! Bam. Ah. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> I'm out of here. <laughs> Thanks for joining us. And uh, we had an awesome time. And thank, thank you to uh, Caitlin as well. Yep, thank you. Thank you all. Thank you all. And of all right. course, cheers. Cheers.